Westmore Central, Mount Olive. Winner goes to MetLife. Need I say more? It's the second to last episode of Football Fanatics. Okay, we are back at Westmore Central, and uh, these guys made a sign here. Welcome, welcome home. Welcome, welcome home. home. Welcome home, sir. <laughs> I've made a lot of trips to this place. I think I've been here more times than any other school. Now, you say you wanted to do a special shout out. Yes, to, who? to our English teacher, Mrs. Ken Jemmy. We know you're going to be watching tomorrow or Sunday. Just want to give you a quick Miss, shout out. Thank you for watching the show. We appreciate it very much. So, this is the rematch of the century. Absolutely. From early on in the season, you guys ended there a 4 0 start. You guys both had phenomenal seasons to end the year. What are you looking forward to most in this game? I'm excited to see our overpowered offense. I mean, our lines up front. We got we got the best hops in the country. And, you know, our backs are explosive. I think we're gonna put up some points tonight. I just know that we're gonna win this game. We're going to MetLife next I just week. Know that we believe and in we're our guys. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Two weeks. We believe in our guys. Anything can happen. We believe, baby. Good answer. Okay, so we are back for the second time this year. Third time this year, actually. The Mount Olive student section. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. We're here to win. Nothing. Okay, well. That's coming our way. Might be a little cold, but we're still going to pull out a W. How bad is it for you right now? Not too bad. I'm pretty hyped, so uh, I'm kind of warm. You guys have revenge on the brain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From the first loss you took to oh, them yeah. this season. We shouldn't have, we shouldn't have lost. Hey, I got to say something. <laughs> Liam is the most handsome quarterback in the city. Yeah! yeah! That's the second week in a row we've had a, we've had a sexy quarterback, actually. So it's rare that we get a first on this show, especially late in the in the show and how those episodes are winding down. But we have the first ever ticket booth interview in the history of this show. Woo! This is uh, the West Morris ticket booth. Uh, and this is two... our favorite police officer. Yeah! Oh, hello, sir. Hey! Oh, uh, what are you guys' names, first of all? Spaz. That's what they call me. Spaz. Yes. That's what they, they call, call you. Yes. For, well, I have to ask, for what reason? Because my last name's Spaziano. Hi, Feet! <laughs> She's gonna kill me. Yeah, that's what they all say. And what is your name, miss? Jerry Addicts. Okay, Jerry. Addicts, yeah, almost like geriatrics. I was about to say, is that another nickname? Or is no. that. How long have you guys been doing the ticket booth deal? About eight years. Eight, eight years, wow. I'm very good at counting. Yes. But your daughter has been in the school for only four years, yes. right? So how did you we get. We teach at the school. We, we oh, yes. what do you teach? Health and phys ed. Oh, nice. And yeah. I'm in special education. Oh, very nice, very nice. Now, what is your favorite part about manning the stand all night long? Each other yeah. and all and of the people, people out there. Yeah. Has there ever been a mathematical issue? In no, here. we're the best that ones. Is They're the... not so good, but we're pretty good. Okay, well, um, this is getting <laughs> candid here. Who are some players we should be looking out for? Uh, Anthony uh, Joseph and Ryan Hodgins. Bryce Sokolowski, Jack DiPietro, Chad Lasorti, Cork Colgano, J. Wright, Tommy Pellegrino. I mean, you, you can't beat him. The NFL equivalent to Roy Colligan. Google search Luke Keekley. See what you find. I find a very large man. We're here with a couple more Mount Off students. What are you guys' names? Uh, my name is Vinny. This is Lorenzo. This is my boy Cal. It's a 6 0 them after one quarter of play. Uh, how do you think the rest of the game is going to be going for you guys tonight? Well, that's the only points they're going to score. 6 0. We got to give them a little hope so we can diminish it. We're going to Mount Life, baby! End of the game. All well, we're saying, we're going to the bubble like that, or they're going to go home crying. How hungry are you guys for tonight's game, considering how your only loss of the season came to them? I'm hungry for a dub right now. We were sick. They had the advantage. Now we're back healthy, better than ever. They're going down tonight, no doubt in my mind. We're going to MetLife. We had the tuberculosis duverlitis, or whatever the hell We had the cocksucky, anything, you name it. We had everything. We had our third strings in, they barely won. Yeah, okay. Now we have a sign here. Tell your girlfriends you will be free on November 30th. They won't be at that These game. We will. Lose. They're losing, baby. They're going to lose. lose. Take it out. Okay. Oh, oh, shot. Oh, shot. Oh, oh, okay, so uh, we are here with uh, three Central students. Uh, what are your guys' names? My name's Ryan. My name's Caitlin. My name's Allison. And what do we have going on here? Uh, it's a fundraiser for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, which is a hospital in Tennessee that works to research for cancer and other terminal illnesses. Cancer treatments for children. Um, all the kids who go there don't have to pay a single hospital bill, which we think is really great. So we're raising money 
uh, to help the children there. How important is charity to you guys as a whole? Uh, we think it's really important, just people coming together to support one greater cause. And I always support it. We put a lot of time into this, preparing for it. And a lot of the people here in the Wolfpack section have been donating a lot of money to us. And Wonderful. Keep going on throughout the night. So what about you? Um, I think it's a great way to like give back to other people without having to um, gain something at yourself. You just help other people. It's just a way to help the kids who have cancer. And it's just a really big cause. So. How cold are you right now? <laughs> it's pretty cold. Really yeah. cold. Very cold. <laughs> You're braving it for a better cause, so I respect that a lot. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. So we're back with uh, the individuals from the first time uh, we went to Mount Olive. And if you remember, this girl was very excited about Anthony to Joseph's head. Uh, it, it fell off <laughs> but it seems as if we have some necessary reinforcements she has taped the head so you said he's your best friend right yeah it's my best friend how excited are you tonight after going one and nine last year you guys had the opportunity to go to MetLife Stadium complete opposite of what happened so exciting we're doing so good DJ just scored a touchdown by the way I don't know if you saw it so we're all really excited right now want to be in the interview too sure what are you guys names I'm Lauren Bella? How much community has it built within the school knowing that your football team is doing so great? Um, I think it has a lot. I think we all come together at every football game to cheer them on. Just because it means so much to them and it means so much to us too. We're all hype as one community. You're a regular of the show when we come here. What is your opinion on how far you guys have gotten this year? I mean, I think we've exceeded everybody's expectations. I have worked harder than anybody. Honestly, our, our coaching staff, like, you gotta give it to Coach Henley. First couple games, I was a little down, but I, I knew we had a good team going into it. We had a couple injuries to start with, too, so. With the Grey Wolf, man. It's pretty cool that we made it this far. No one thought we were gonna do it. And we're still, we're still underdogs for this game. Whatever. you guys, they're poised, man. You, like, today in school, you couldn't talk to Tommy. He would not smile. He would oh, not smile. So, and he wants this. All of these guys want it more than anything. Yeah, like, like, not just for themselves, they know how much joy they cause us. You like Look. my Russian hat? I do like your Russian hat, it's very fashionable. Thank you. So, yeah, we're still in line. Ryan, do you have any questions? You know what? I want to do. If a pack of wolves and a group of marauders fought in the wild, who would win and why? Oh Take them off. Oh, pack! Where are the pets? You know you where the answer is. There's a pack! Where we are a pack. pack, we stick together, so we will crush them. Yeah. We will kill them. We have this thing called strategy. A marauder would just run in there like a, like a crazy thing, but wolves, they strategize, they're smart, they go for what they know they want, and they get the job done. Like I said before, we're savages, for the best. Listen, I know it's my show, but if it's anything but theirs when I interview them, something's gonna happen. So, so for the third time this year, we are here with the amount of cheerleaders. What's up, guys? They actually cheered. We didn't have to do a retake of that. Who would have thought? One in nine last year, and here you are with a chance to go to MetLife Stadium. How do you feel? Um, we feel great. <laughs> Why do you always laugh when she answers the question? We just feel great. I don't know. <laughs> We're just really excited because the boys have put in so much work this year, so it's really like awesome to see how much it paid off. Way to step in there. Yeah, nice yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Um, it feels so amazing, especially being a senior this year. It's like great to have this opportunity. I've never interviewed you. I don't think you have, yeah. What's your name? My name's Sophia. Okay, you're a senior? Yes. Either way, you have a maximum of two games left counting this one. How does it feel like to be down the last stretch here? Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> Tied that we're getting this far. I'm sad oh. it's over almost, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right, it's alright. Once again, Hello. the Westmore Central Cheerleaders, what's going on guys? <laughs> Nobody expected that you would make it this far. Rude. And by nobody, I meant the people on the internet. They're rude! We hate the internet! <laughs> so seniors, this is your last game here at Picarillo Field. How does it how does it feel? I think I know what your answer is gonna be. I'm I'm sad. Sad. I feel like crying right now. It's oh. a sad feeling. I'm, right now. I'm not crying right now, maybe later. It's bittersweet. You don't wanna leave, but it's also really, really cold. It is very cold. There's one question I have to ask. If a group of marauders and a wolf pack faced off in the wild, who would win the actual- I SEE YOU BACK THERE! <laughs> who would win the actual fight and why? Okay, well, um, obviously the marauder would win because we have a hook and we have a sword, so you could just like... <laughs> get him a couple times. You see, we are wolves, and wolves attack and they bite people, and then they're marauders. Relevant pirates! 
Irrelevant Pirates. Irrelevant. So it's the Westmore Central Wolf Pack against the Mount Olive Irrelevant Pirates. It's like bang. <laughs> it's like slice. You're done. Bang. <laughs> bang. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, what about you? Bang. We can get out of here on three with a bang. Ready? One, two, three. Bang. <laughs> so we are here for the Mount Olive Trivia Challenge. Big play just happened. They got a fumble inside the 30-ish. So we are here with our, our contestant. What is your name, sir? Michael Burns. Okay, then we're going to ask you three questions about Mount Olive. We are going to be broadening it to the town of Mount Olive this time, not yeah. just Mount Olive right. High School, okay? Oh, so we're getting more advanced. I had to dig deep for this one. All right, ready? First question is, what is the man's name who the town is named after? It's worth mentioning that uh, this segment is brought to you by FBU. Hold on, we need a few more minutes. A few, a few more minutes? We gotta get a time limit here. How long? I'll tell you. All right, Benjamin Olive. Benjamin Olive. Your phone is in your hand. I always have it in my hand. It's a safety thing. I'll take your word for it, because Benjamin Olive is the correct answer. Yeah! <laughs> All right, next question. The last time you guys uh, won a state title was 15 years ago in 2002. The name of the coach that coached that team, the head coach, what's his name? Kramer. Kramer's correct. Yeah! yeah! Right. Now, this is for the clean sweep. There is an NFL player that is currently playing in the NFL who grew up in Mount Olive. What is his no, name? Brown. No Brown. Should have put that earlier, but Noah no Brown, Brown is correct. Yeah! 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 They got the clean sleeve! Yeah! Yeah! yeah, baby! Can he hold it? It's it's <laughs> Yeah! 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 FBU yeah! sponsors of uh, Football Fanatics Trivia. Yeah, we got sponsors now. That's how we're, wow. we're, we're high living. Wow. Okay, so now we are here for yet another edition of the West Morris Trivia Challenge. We are here with our contestant. What is your name? Allison. We're going to ask you three questions about Westmore Central and or Long Valley, the town itself. Okay. We have, so this is a history question about the town of Long Valley itself. Okay. 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 Long Valley is not the original oh, name of the town. Oh, German Valley. Yes, German Valley. German Valley, 17. We, we got it. We I'm got gonna, it. Okay, when well, I'm going to... Your answer was German Valley. Tell me why it was changed. World War One. And we didn't like the... Germans. The correct answer. You got it right. <laughs> Next question. Who is the all-time leading rusher in terms of rushing yards at Westmore Central High School? Uh, I'm gonna go with Mike Burton. Mike Burton. A common subject on this show, Michael Burton is correct. You got that one right. Last question. Let's just go three I, for three. Let's, let's go, three, go three, for three for three. Okay. What year did Westmore Central High School open? 1967? 19 1976. It was 1958, actually. Oh, all right. Yeah. Either way, you get the t-shirt. And now they're gonna be doing some jumping around. Let's watch. So trivia champion here, but she is back on the show. What is your name? Jasmine. Right. Now this is a big question here. Now there are people that are saying. Okay, so anyways, now it is official. Old Japan has made it. Yeah. People are saying whoever wins this game is just going to get fed right to them. What do you have to say to that? I say look at our record. Now they are undefeated, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the one! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Great comeback. I love that. What about you? Yeah, we want Old Japan. We're going to eat them up. My life for bus! Let me just say, Wes Morris was not ready for us! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And that's the game, ladies and gentlemen! The Mount Olive Marauders continue the revenge tour! Last year, 9 and 1. This year, they're 10 and 1. And they are going to MetLife Stadium! They go on to face all Japan in two weeks. And we're going to see you in two weeks for the series finale of Football Fanatics. We'll see you then.